Security was tied at the anti-corruption court before the Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Mary Goretti Kitutu, was brought to court. First to be brought at around 11.30 a.m. was Kitutu's brother, Michael Nagoya, Kitutu, who was arrested on Wednesday. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to... At 12, Kitutu was brought in a police car and kept in the anti-corruption court's holding cell. The Minister of Environment, Beatrice Anwa, was the first government official to visit Kitutu in the cell. Kitutu, who is a geologist by profession, had previously served in the Environment Ministry. Hello, get away from the dog. In the afternoon, Kitutu and her brother were brought to court where Magistrate Joan Achiro read the charges against them. It is alleged that between June 2022 and January 2023, Mary Goretti Kitutu and Joshua Abaho, her secretary, conspired to defraud beneficiaries under Karamoja Community Empowerment Program of 9,000 iron sheets. The iron sheets were kept in the office of the Prime Minister's stores in Namave in Mukono district. During the same time, Michael Naboya Chitutu at Situmi village, Bukaweka sub-county Namisindo district, received 100 iron sheets marked office of the Prime Minister, having reason to believe they had been feloniously obtained. Chitutu and the brother Naboya pleaded not guilty to the charges. During the bail application, the Chitutu's lawyers led by Michael Asebu, a former deputy director of public prosecutions, submitted grounds that court should consider to grant Chitutu bail. They submitted a title for land in Koloro and Wachiso, a diplomatic passport for sureties, who included her husband George Chitutu, former MP Simon Mulongo, and Bali North Division MP Seith Wambede, among others. Besides Chitutu being a prominent person, a mother, and of advanced age, her legal team argued that she is hypertensive. Hypertensive heart disease with the left ventricle stiffness. I in short, it is HHD. However, prosecution led by the deputy DPP Josephine Namatov discredited the evidence adduced by the Manafwa woman MP's lawyers. And our concern is the competence of this physician to handle and diagnose the ailment which has to do with the heart condition as has been submitted. In terms of the land titles tabled, prosecution argued that there was no recent certified search by the lands registry which cast doubt on the authenticity of the titles. We need to verify whether what they titles purport to be is actually what they are. Because of abyss of court process, the respondents are indicated here to be three. How are we to treat an affidavit in response to one person's application that is made by in response to three? One of whom is even not in court. At around 5 p.m., the magistrate adjourned court and asked one lawyer from Kitutu's legal team and one prosecutor to appear before her on 12th April to conclude the bail application. Kitutu and her brother were remanded to Luzira prisons. This is not selective prosecution. What has happened is that the case is being handled in piecemeal. So this is just the first case file. In the prosecution's submission, they said that at one point the Prime Minister persuaded Kitutu to hand herself over to police, but she did not. And therefore, they submitted saying that her adamancy coupled with interference of witnesses that amounted to impunity that the court should not entertain. The lawyers of Kitutu also submitted saying that every submission that the prosecution was giving was basically orchestrated to ensure that she spends the Easter holidays behind bars. Kitutu is supposed to be appearing before the same court next week on the 12th where they will be giving a ruling on her bail application. Sudilbi Yarhanga, NTV.